Welcome to part two of The Godfather. In this episode, we're going to continue doing things for the Carleone family, but first, I happen to got myself a skill point from that last mission. And skill points is to make your character a better fighter, a better shot, up his defense and how much damage he could take, make him faster at spring and pulling out guns, but more importantly, Keep the heat off of him. I wouldn't keep him waiting. Now see, there are random things you could do to could actually earn you respect. More than likely, the main game scenarios and the random turfs you have to take is one of those things you need to do. Hey kid. Let's take a walk. Ah, it's less crowded now. I like that. Makes it easier for a man to get his business done. I make good money, I help the family, I get a little action on the side. But one thing must be understood. I would never go against the Godfather. <gasps> Don Corleone is a man I respect. Old Emilio. He doesn't seem to give a damn about paying us respect. He's giving his kickbacks to the Tatalians. Needs to be taught a lesson. I want you to have a word with Emilio. Convince him to pay his dues to the Corleones. Think you know what to do? Sort of. How should I handle it? Eh, it depends. With some guys, you only need to show a little respect. Just walk up to him and talk to him. A little negotiation goes a long way. Got it. And if the guy don't look like he's gonna crack? Then you remind him why he needs protection in the first place. Try turning up the pressure, but don't go too far. A man pushed past his limits can be dangerous. Capiche? <laughs> Ah, speak of the devil, we get to take our first store. Now, here's the deal with the store as Aldo is using his Time Lord powers. <clears throat> the stores have a certain amount of pressure before they ended up fighting for their lives and going what past the breaking point. We're closed. However, Luca Brasi said. He the more you threaten them you before they reach their breaking point, the more you get you on a weekly basis. So make sure you try to see if you can get a weak spot to intimidate the store owner. Like for instance, this guy's weak spot is breaking stuff in his store. As you can see here, if I would have continued hitting his head on, hit on, the, on the counter, I would have actually gotten higher money at the risk Listen, of hitting his breaking point. If you're not paying them, you'll pay the consequences. The I more money you extort, the I'll more you my, get on a weekly basis. And some racket I mean some extortions actually have rackets in the back. Now there won't be as much resistance as it will be later on in the game. However Extortions are different. No, rackets are different from extortions. Rackets, all you have to do is buy them out. If you don't have the money, you can try to go for the weak spot to get as much money as you can from the racket with uh, as much money as humanly possible. And now, Francesco Buccio and his friend Bartolo Cavano. They both became soldados of the Tataglia army at the same time and swore to never be apart, even in death. Well, I just gave them their wish. Anyway, all you gotta do is just buy this guy out. So, whatever you do, don't get greedy because the buyout is definitely worth getting back. Because when you try to extortion rackets, or try to threaten rackets, they give you less than what you actually 
put in if you buying out. Oh, and what I just put over there. That was a stick of dynamite. And I just got myself a safe. Cracking safes is definitely another way to gain respect. Sometimes the safes will have dynamite. Other times they'll have things like guns. Hell, there's even one safe that actually has a reel in it. Now when you're cracking bank safes, well, that's hey, where these guys come in. my neighborhood. You and your paisan must honor me. Okay, okay. I don't want no trouble. I don't like cheapskates. But I'll take what you've got. Maybe we'll see each other around sometime, huh? Now, bribing cops. Bribing cops will give you a temporary meter that will reduce the amount of heat you get and will actually take away some of the heat you currently have, depending on the cops. Now, the same rules apply with higher ranking officers than what it does with lesser officers. Higher ranking officers, you're gonna have to actually extort them. Jeez, what took you so long? You get the money? Yeah. Hand it over. See? I told you this business was interesting, huh? I want you to meet up with a friend of mine, Paul Gatto. Show him this. That way he'll know you're a friend of mine. I gotta go. And with that, this mission is complete. Not to mention, we've got ourselves a bonus film clip. So... I will explain the film clips that we get throughout the game in the extra video. But for the time being, we got yet another person to talk to due to the Godfather icon. You look like you want to talk to me? You must be the new guy I heard about. Interested in making a little money? Hey, sure. What can I do for you? The Tatalias have been turning the screws in Little Italy lately, and now the shopkeepers are paying them look instead the of us. Go talk to some of the shopkeepers and show them who runs this town. Now, before we meet Pauly, let's meet Barto the Jinx Gambio. Before he became a soldado, he ended up losing a gambling ring that counted sports scores. How did he lose it, you ask? Well, he went into deep debt when he betted on the White Sox. Thank you all and good night. <laughs> anyway, let's go meet Pauly because I'm pretty sure he's dying to see us but also we get to see a game exclusive character that wasn't in the movies we're going to meet marty malone after all the guy can't be all that bad right i mean his name is monk anyway right i'm looking for paulie gatto luca Lucas sends his love. So, you Lucas' new errand boy? I ain't nobody's errand boy. Hey, take a joke, why don't you? Take it easy. Take it easy. Look, Luca told us about you. He's just, uh, busting your balls, Paulie. Right, Paulie? Thinks he's a comedian. Meet Marty Malone. He ain't a pretty sight, but, My uh... friends call me Monk. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Okay, okay, this ain't no tea party. We got work to do. Now follow me. It's right around the corner. The Undertaker's daughter just got out of the hospital. She got beat up pretty bad by a couple of punks. We gotta off these guys? No. We're under orders. Just beat them up real bad. So keep you cool. I'll show you what to do. Well, we've got to teach these young punks a lesson. They need to learn not to hit women. Even though women do start at first. In which case, the women are also wrong, too. Well, we just need to teach these punks. In the 1950s, you don't hit a woman. That would just make you a scumbag. Isn't that right, Carlo Rizzi? Problem is, in, before the final product of the game, there literally was a wife-beating game starring Carlo Rizzi, which would have got you some respect. Or any extra respect. The thing is, even though they had a Carlo Rizzi voice impersonator, the minigame was out of taste, so they removed it in the final product. So now, if you happen to see any girls in your room, well, 
oh, in the room next door, you could uh, talk to them after you get to level 10. Now, as for this chump, all you have to do is drag him over to the graveyard. You could throw him or punch him or beat him up if you like, but just so long as you don't kill him, and so long as you bring him over to the open grave. That's all. Well, well, well. Looks like there's nobody home in this one. Nah, he's down there. Maybe he can use some so company. Please, I won't do it again. Oh, we know you ain't gonna do it again. Jeez, you should have learned to treat the games a little nicer, with a little respect. Now it's too late. Good night, sweetheart. Come on, that's enough. I sure showed them, punks. Well, that also may have gained me another level in respect, and why is this music playing? Well, never mind, I think the guys are already knocked out unconscious. Oh, Luca was right, you got balls. You did good, just like he said. Now get the hell out of here. He's waiting for you over in the Bowers. Well, now that we've finished this mission, we've now got ourselves another skill. Let's upgrade our speed, and we will run faster than what we ever did before for all of three seconds. Now, here's the thing about his running animation. It looks almost like his actual walking animation. Which, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't see the difference except for the fact that he's working his arms more. And the fact that he's a big burly dude running down the street, that ought to tell you something. Stay away from him. Anyway... Wait, what? Did that Strassi guy just hit on me? Oh, hell no! Nah. Oh my goodness, that's the highlight of this... <laughs> That's the highlight of this playthrough right here. <laughs> I just had some Strassi guy made a pass at me for no reason. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, you'll be going to get the gun from Luca, so let's talk to him and see what he has this to say. This ain't no weapon like from your army boy days, but it'll do the job. Come on, let's see what you can do. Hey, thanks. It's a loud one. Scares away curious people. Can't be traced, neither. Give that well, dummy a few I would pretty much disagree with Luca with the snub nose being untraceable. Learn fast, kid. Accurate? Yeah, the snub nose is very You're accurate. Kidding, tough guy. And remember what you you're doing down. with these, uh, with the snub nose and the aiming. Because there is going to be an assassination mission that will allow that will have you to target things. What the hell? I'm kind of glad I recorded that. We're the only ones who know, so let's Well, yeah. Let's follow Luca to his car and let that one be the. Let that be the highlight. Anyway, we're now doing yet another movie event. We're going to Midtown and you're driving. Hold with the questions. Thing is, once you get in the car, you have a certain amount of time limit to get to the meeting. And trust me, there is going to be a lot of movie events that will have time limits. I'm a little worried about this. Summer, now, so here's the thing. Some of the time limits may be fair, others will be cutting it really, really close. Make them think that you're not to have enough family. Well, we're gonna find ourselves in some in a really, really bad firefight in just a second. To be asked to carry out this task for you, I will not fail. Thank you, Don Corleo. Now, that little flashback we just heard—that's basically. Uh, Luca and Don Carleone trying to set up a plan to kill Salazzo by having Luca be on the inside, disturbing whatever plans Salazzo has. Thing is, Salazzo is not stupid. 
and also there's someone on the Corleone side who had already tipped him off. Oh, I'll let you know in a couple of parts who it is. But if you read the book it's on the movie, you know who it is. Anyway, we're here at the spot. So let things play out as they may. There's an alley over there where you can keep an eye on the meeting. Now, if anything happens, you get out of there fast and find Monk. Io capito che non sei contento più con la famiglia Corleone. Capace che vuoi cambiare? Ti vuoi mettere con me? Quasi dei soldi sono ne buoni. Cinquenta mila dollari dal principio. Va bene. D'accordo. Va bene. Grazie. Shooting like crazy, I better take some cover if I can ever get control of my character. Anyway, Niccolo Ferrari. This guy wanted to own the family business before he turned 18. Well, they refused and instead gave him a dodge for his troubles. He became a soldado for the Tataglia ever since, so I just killed him. The same thing goes for Berto Maserati. The difference is, his family actually called for vehicle theft after they gave him the dodge because he didn't have clear titles poor bastard but those two guys fate is not as bad as everyone else that I am going to kill before each and every person I kill became soldados well they were on the generals basketball team for those of you who aren't familiar with the generals they're the guys who always lose to the Harlem Globetrotters yeah I'm going to relieve them from their misery now. And that was the power forward. Let's see. There's the center. Small forward. Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here. There you go. And where's that one guy who always lose the ball to the generals? I mean, not the generals, the, uh, Paul and Globetrotters. Where's that one guy who... Ah, oh, he's in there. Ah, you're the power forward that constantly drops the ball. And you, you're just a bench boy. Well, there we go. Now that we've cleared out these guys, it's time for me to head on out of here. I'll come back later because this place is available as a turf. So I can blow up the safe. But for the meantime, it's time to get the hell out of Dodge. Oh uh, yeah, the safe's in there, by the way. And let's get out of the way before the police come and try to gun me down. <clears throat> ah, speaking of the devil, they're right on time. My one big gripe about this game, you cannot drive and shoot. Even though you clearly can in The Godfather. So all we gotta do is outrun these assholes. That's all. Run them into cars, run them into light posts, run them into buildings. Do whatever you can to outrun your pursuers. This is the first time you'll be outrunning pursuers and it certainly won't be the last. And trust me, with a time limit like this, I'll be definitely cutting it close. These cars are not sturdy, you know. And the fact that the police are firing uh, snub noses and sometimes shotguns and uh, Tommy guns at this car, this car is bound to blow up. So, yeah. Let's just get out of here as quickly as humanly possible. Even though I'm in Broadway, I am still fighting off the cops. 
See, this is supposed to happen because it's scripted. Unlike normal chases, where if you go to another town, the cops will actually back off. Because the heat will be gone from you. Otherwise, in scripted events, you could just uh, hide out from the cops in a different town and switch cars and just cause a lot of havoc again until you have to get out of your other town or wait it out in your safe house. Speaking of which, time to go there right now. Monk, something terrible's happened. Hey, hey, not on the telephone, kid. All right, I'll meet you. When? Barbershop on March Street. I'll meet you down there this afternoon. But... I can't make it sooner. Keep your mouth shut, all right? I'll see you later. And with that, poor Luca has met his unfortunate end. Wow, and we barely even knew him. Anyway, that is the end of part two. In the next episode, I'm going to be starting to extort more rackets in part three. See you guys next time.